In the Western Pacific Ocean, off the coast of Australia, lies the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is home to more than 1,500 species of fish, over 400 types of coral, including one-third of the world's soft corals, and hundreds of species of sharks, rays, turtles, and other marine animals. The reef is beautiful, colorful, and expansive. It's the world's largest coral ecosystem, composed of almost 3,000 individual reefs. As one of the seven natural wonders of the world, people come from across the planet to visit this breathtaking marine ecosystem. Many of them have no idea of the damage they've already done. Humans are filling the oceans with plastic, which has a deadly effect on marine life. Humans use plastic every single day, and 8 million tons of it end up in the ocean each year. In the Los Angeles area alone, 10 tons of plastic are carried into the Pacific every day. The average American throws away 185 pounds of plastic per year. Plastic can take thousands of years to decompose, meaning it just sits in our oceans. This causes many problems for coral reefs, including the Great Barrier Reef. Microplastics, tiny pieces of plastic that are less than five millimeters long, are found in reef ecosystems in the sand, plankton, and the coral itself. Macroplastics, which are large pieces of visible garbage, are found floating in the water and throughout every level of the ocean. A new study shows that corals in contact with plastic are 85% more likely to become diseased and die. Plastic also poses a severe threat to the marine wildlife supported by the Great Barrier Reef. Turtles often confuse plastic items, especially shopping bags, for jellyfish and other food sources. Fish also ingest large amounts of plastic, particularly microplastics, which then travel up the food chain. Marine mammals both eat and become tangled in plastics, and even seabirds mistake plastic pieces for food which can lead them to starvation. So what can we do about this problem? Sadly, the amount of garbage in the ocean is too great to remove. We've already caused so much damage that such an undertaking would be an incredible task. But we can significantly reduce our impact in the future by decreasing the amount of plastics that we use. There are several ways that you can help with this effort. Reduce your plastic usage. Opt for recyclable, compostable, or reusable materials. Avoid plastic bags at the grocery store, instead taking your own reusable bags. Get others involved. Spread the idea of an ocean-friendly lifestyle. And do your best to learn more about how we can save the Great Barrier Reef from further harm.